Hello, it's Chris. Let's start our very first actual project. We are going to model a flathead screwdriver. And here's what it looks like. So there's this image. This one here will be useful when we get into the texturing phase. A little close up and a close up of the head of the flathead screwdriver. So before we begin anything, as mentioned early on in other tutorials, we need to create our project. So I'm going to go to File, Project Window, hit New, and this one I'm going to name C Mendenhall underscore screwdriver. And if you're taking my class, you should actually name it A1, A1 for assignment one. I'm gonna leave everything else the same. Uh, location, make sure I'm saving this in somewhere where um, I can get to it. And I know where it is, just be aware of that. I hit accept. And now if I open this, I can see the default folder structure, this is good. I'm going to save those images, those reference images inside of this source images folder. So I'm gonna open this up and I've already created a flathead underscore ref uh, for flathead reference. Um, actually, let's do this. And here I have my images. All right, great. So now I'm going to go ahead and set my project, file, set project, and just make sure that C Mendenhall underscore A1. I'm gonna select that and hit set. And now I should be good to go. So when modeling inside of Maya, there's a lot of different approaches we can take. And the approach we're gonna take while we're learning is by using uh, reference images um, or image planes, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and hit spacebar on my keyboard to go to my orthographic view. Right, in the side view, I'm going to select view come down here to image plane and import image. This should look in our source images folder if we've set our project correctly. I'm going to open up the flathead reference folder and I'm going to select this flathead underscore one, hit open. And there it is. I'm gonna hit spacebar over the side view and I can select the image plane. It also shows up inside the outliner, right? And then I can hit W and move this around um, I could scale it if I needed to or rotate it, all right? So first thing I'm gonna do is just drag it up on top of the image plane to start with. Excuse me, not the image. I'm gonna drag it up on top of the, the grid here for now, just kind of roughly. We're gonna have to change this here momentarily, but that's a good start. So the default uh, structure of this grid, the default unit, is one centimeter. So each one of these little squares on the grid is one centimeter right now. And if we were to actually create this 3D model um, without adjusting our units, then it would be a very tiny screwdriver, right? If we put this into Unreal Engine or any other sort of real time um, viewer, it would show up as very small. So let's go ahead and uh, adjust this. So I'm going to go to Windows, Settings, Preferences, Preferences. Here I have the Preferences window. If I go down and click on the word Settings on this left-hand side, you'll see Working Units, Linear, um, and this is what we want to change, is Centimeter. Um, if you want to work in metric, that's totally fine. I'm a filthy imperial, uh, so I'm going to work in um, feet or foot. All right, so I'm gonna change this to foot, and then I'll hit save. So now we can kind of see the size of this thing um, relative to feet. Our grid is quite large. Let's go ahead and adjust the grid. I'm going to go to display. Here we have grid. If I wanted to turn the grid off, I could click on this little checkbox and it would turn the grid off. I'm gonna check it again to turn it on. Several tools in these menus have little squares next to them. These, if you click on the square, it opens up the options for that tool. 
So I'm going to click on this option box next to grid. Here are the grid options. So length and width, um, I'm going to say I want five units in every direction. One unit is one foot, and I'm going to say I want a grid line every unit, and subdivisions, I will divide it by 12, and that will give me the inches, right? Because there are 12 inches in a foot. I'm going to change my, um, here you can change the color of your grid lines. So you, if you want to, you can change the color. I'm going to choose this red, and I'll hit apply and close. And now you can see I have <coughs> a grid that has inches uh, and five feet in every direction. I'm actually going to adjust the color one more time on the grid lines so it's different. Something dark, apply, there we go. Now I can see where there is a foot. So I'm going to hit spacebar again now that I've set up my grid correctly. I know that screwdrivers on average run anywhere from 5 to 8 inches. Let's go ahead and make this one 7 inches. So I'm going to hit the R. Uh, hit R on the keyboard, right, to go to the scale tool. And then I'm uniformly going to scale this up. So this is currently one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, let's just go eight. So it was actually very close. Which is good. So I'm gonna try and center the screwdriver along this line and rest it on top of the grid. So it looks something like this. Next, I'm going to go to Attribute Editor, and I want this image, this image plane, to only show up in the side view. So with the screwdriver, the image plane selected, go to the Attribute Editor, and then right here where it says Display, I'm going to click on this Looking Through Camera, and it will only show up there. Next, where it says Alpha Gain, this will adjust the transparency. So I'm gonna change alpha gain to 0.5 and hit enter. Notice that it went semi-transparent here, right? Next, I want to be able to model and not accidentally click on this image plane. So I'm going to go back to channel box, layer editor, select the image plane. And then on the bottom right in the layer stack, there are these um, little icons that help you control your layers. And this far right one, if you hover over it, you can't see because it's off the screen right now, but if you hover over it, it says create a new layer and assign selected objects. So I'm going to click on that. You'll see it says layer one. I'm going to double click on layer one and I'm going to rename this to image plane and hit enter. Save. Now you can see my layer is named image plane. Um, this V here stands for view, so you can click and adjust on that V. And I can still select this, however, on this far right box, if I change this to R, since for reference, and now I can no longer select it by accident, right? And that's what I want. Okay, in the next video, we will actually begin to model this. This is a good spot to save your work. So I'm gonna go to File, Save Scene As, and I'll name this screw, oops, Screwdriver underscore V01 and hit save as and we'll pick up modeling in the next video